Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 3.0 Day 11. And continuing our contacts uh, training here, we're going to dive into the contacts applet submenu. And I'm going to show you a little bit more information that's available within the actual contact record of one of our contacts. So I'm going to choose one of the contacts that I've been utilizing here. Uh, first of all, I want to show you the timeline. So your timeline is everything below this line here. Uh, so you can see here are some examples that show up as far as activity goes. So this should be tracking any meetings that you have scheduled, calls, emails, texts, incoming and outgoing SMS, calendar events, notes, if your uh, contact has searched their neighborhood, if they have favorited a listing, or if they have contacted the user. So just wanted to show you what some of those look like. Um, email information unavailable on the 19th of November, the 19th of October, the 19th of September. The reason this says email information is unavailable, it doesn't mean that your Gmail account is not connected. What it means is this is the monthly Neighborhood Nurture Smart Plan going out. You'll see here in a second when we scroll down uh, that I subscribed myself to a monthly Neighborhood Nurture Smart Plan uh, revolved around the neighborhood Village Green West, Audubon Park, Covington West, Imperial Woods, and Hawks Landing. And this little box here is alerting me that that email went out. So this is basically a monthly neighborhood or KW command driven email being sent out. Uh, next, you're gonna see when you subscribe someone to a smart plan, that shows up. So um, I somehow, I think I managed to subscribe myself twice to the birthday smart plan and this particular contact record was probably training on that back in August. So you can see whenever you subscribe someone to a smart plan. In addition, you can see texts that are going out. So here's an example of a text that I sent. Uh, hey, it's Marty with Keller Williams Platinum. Been a, while, been a while, just wanted to see if you had any real estate needs I could help you with. Let me know and give my best to your family. So you can see that email went out. The reason I believe it's in here twice is I actually have this phone number used on two separate contacts. So that's why it's in there twice. Typically, you would only see that once. Um, in addition, again, remember August 19th, the 19th is when I subscribed myself to that smart plan. So this is the smart plan email going out. You can also see when things change with regards to your source or your opportunity stage. Again, the 19th of July, 19th of June. Here you can see April 19th, I viewed the market neighborhood snapshot page. Uh, on the 19th, I viewed it some more on the 18th, on the 17th as well. And then finally down here at the very bottom, you can actually see emails that have been sent. So I sent an email from my KW account to this contact, which has this address, right? This is the address I put in for this contact. The cool thing is I can actually click on view email and it's going to pull up that specific email here within my Gmail account. So you can see what that looks like. So that's pretty impressive as well. So that's not all of the things, but just some example of things that you can see in the timeline. Again, for a full list, you can click on this drop down box where you can sort which activities show up in your timeline. And these are all of the possible activities that could show up in your timeline here on the right hand side. You can also sort for activities by a date range. So if you look at this, you can kind of decide, okay, I wanna see activities that have happened in the last month, in the last six months, three months, whatever you decide. If it's a certain day or days you're looking for, you could put those in as well. Uh, so that's essentially the timeline here on the right-hand side. Um, as we are climbing through the right-hand side, I wanted to introduce you to four other things and then talk to you about what we're gonna do on Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So. First of all, here on the right hand side, I do have the ability to add a contact to an opportunity from within the contact card. So if I click on opportunities, you can see that I added myself this uh, contact to an opportunity back on May 6th, and it has since been archived. Okay, so I do have the ability to go back in, let's say uh, for some reason they were under contract and then they busted out, they decided to take the house off the market for a while, I could archive that opportunity and then I could create a new one by clicking on Create Opportunity from within the contact card. Sorry, I thought I was gonna sneeze there. I probably will in just a second. Um, so you can see here are all the inputs from the Opportunity screen within my contact record. 
So I can choose which opportunity type this is. It does right now default to listing. So make sure that you change it if it's a buyer, landlord, or tenant opportunity. In addition, the client, obviously it's connected to AAA seller because that's the contact record that we're in. I can choose a co-seller if I wanted. Say AAA is married to AA. So there's the co-seller. I can choose that contact record by just typing it in. Now, if the contact did not exist and I wanted to select one, um, I could basically go through here and that record would not show up. So in the actual opportunity, you can add the new contact from within the contact card, you cannot. Uh, opportunity name as of right now. Opportunity name, you would wanna add this opportunity. If it's a buyer, obviously you would just put the buyer name. If it's a listing, you would wanna list the address of the house that's being listed. You can select your custom opportunity tags. You can estimate a close date if you know it. Estimated list price, since this is a listing, if I went to buyer, you can see we've got the budget as compared to estimated list price. Choose a time frame, commission rate, and then where is this opportunity going to show up? We're gonna do a whole segment of training on opportunities with regards to phases, stages, and much more. And yet this will just tell you, okay, this opportunity that I'm creating from this contact record will show up in the cultivate phase underneath the watch lead stage. And then it's assigned to me. I can click on create opportunity. And just to show you not to get too far ahead, but opportunities here are our sixth applet or submenu down. And you can now see under listings, cultivate. Here is, no it's not. Uh, I think I changed it to buyer there at the last minute. And here this right here is our opportunity that we created even though it's named seller uh, had it under buyer as a buyer opportunity so we're going to go ahead and just archive that for now in addition from the contact record that we are in so i just taught you how you can add an opportunity from within the contact record you also have the ability to add tasks so say i wanted to add a task to remind myself to do something i can basically click on add task i can enter the name uh, one thing that I do like to do in here is if it's a phone call, I'll actually list the phone number and name of the contact in the task name. So that way when it shows up in my task manager later, I don't actually have to dive into the contact record to get the phone number. It just makes it easier to accomplish tasks. And then I can just say follow up call to invite uh, to open house. Let's say I attempted to call them today. They didn't answer. I want to make sure that I call them again on Wednesday. I could set that. I can even say, hey, what time do I want that to happen? Uh, I do Legion at, uh, let's say, 9 a.m. And then I can create the task. And so that's an easy way to create a task. Here you can see that task is created. It'll also show up underneath my tasks and also underneath my home screen. Finally, we can create notes. So if I wanted to create a note within this contact record, I could do that just as a reminder. Um, it might be something as easy as um, uh, be sure to ask about uh, his dog, right? Last time you talked, you said he was, was busy taking his dog to the vet, right? Whatever, just something to jog your memory, a note that you could put in there. Um, obviously you could put much more detailed notes if you're involved in a transaction. Um, if you wanted to put notes about, uh, you know, just something particular about AAA seller, hey, make sure uh, always text, do not call. Uh, make sure you do not call before 9 a.m. Uh, text before call, baby sleeps a lot, whatever. It could be notes that you're doing. It could be transaction-based notes. It could be legion-based notes, a whole variety of notes. And these notes will then show up anytime you come into the contact record and click on notes. You'll see the note listed right here and when it was created. Tomorrow, we're going to dive into the saved search aspect of this right-hand side of the contact card. I'm going to show you how to utilize that and then how to make sure that your client can find that saved search. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna get into the additional activities that can be added to your contact record or created from your contact record by clicking on this plus sign. So that's what's coming up. Guys, that's it for today. Timeline on your contacts, how to add an opportunity, how to add tasks, and how to add notes. We talked about smart plans yesterday. 
Tomorrow we'll talk about saved searches and on Wednesday we'll dive into the additional activities that you can do from within a contact record. Hope you're all having a fantastic Monday and as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.